I checked Dwight Drive. 2013 Peterbilt 579, and yes, it's automatic, but before this, I started off driving a 2006 Peterbilt 386 10-speed. My uncle let me choose between this one or the 386, and I chose this one because there's just way more room and it's more updated. This one has a touchscreen radio, Bluetooth, navigation, and it has a working fridge. Only thing I don't like about this on my truck, and I guess it's common for a lot of automatic trucks for this to happen, is that in the Prindle area, it'll say service, and it won't let me put it in drive. And there's been times where I'm driving and I get to a stop sign and it'll get stuck in second gear and it won't go. It'll just rev up the RPMs. It happened to me before too at a fuel aisle at a truck stop and the truck driver behind me was pissed. He's literally stuck in that fuel aisle for over 40